games with food. Currently, like I shared earlier, I have a game. I did a presentation for um, parents, therapists, teachers, um, primarily who are affiliated with Hamilton County School System regarding children who we call are picky or problem eaters. We have seen an increase in the number of children who are not eating the foods that they should be eating. The part I struggle with is the surprise snacks, the ones that I don't know about, and he doesn't want just two Oreos, which is an adult serving. He wants four, and I'm like, and then he might want more. I'm like, no, you have to stop children who have difficulty eating lots of foods, it affects them at school in that it affects their social interactions with their friends and it's just really important that we continue to offer a variety of foods for our kids so that they can have opportunities to explore different foods to eat. Well I do know that they're absolutely on the right track, that I've spent time in the school cafeterias and they're offering variety of foods for children. They're offering healthy foods, they're offering all kinds of choices and um, you know, I really think that what I'm doing is working individually with that child and helping them to be able to make those right choices when they go into the cafeteria line and they have a choice between, you know, do I want the apples or do I want, um, you know, a pudding cup. If you have a child who is a picky or a problem eater and you're having difficulty getting them to try new foods, that um, we would be more than happy to work with them, to help the family, and to get them on the right track.